Hello everyone, it's Angela. Um, I just want to say that I apologize for the lack lapse in my videos. Life happens. And I've been busy with my swapping group called Paper Crafting Swapaholics, not so anonymous, on Facebook. I was trying to get that organized and cleaned up um, because I did inherit it from a friend. So, um, and I've owned it for a year now, so I figured it was time to get it organized and, and ship shop shape. And so, I've been busy doing that. So, but back to crafting now. I am working on a journal. Ta-da! And I'm very proud of her. She is, um, lemon, roses, flowers, um... I just incorporated a lot of colors that I don't usually use, like yellow, <laughs> and um, just went with it. And I'm really, really happy with the way that it's turning out. <clears throat> this is Medieval Mirage. Um, I've used a bunch of different laces so far, and I'm thinking I'm going to put some lace here as well. I just don't know which one yet. So and I've made this little um, safety pin embellishment there. So, um, that's the inside. And I just have a bunch of coffee dyed papers and <clears throat> a few embellishments, but not really. So I was shopping on Etsy and I bought some ephemera that was already made. And I'll try to link the shop below. I think it was Red Barn Vintage Shop. And, um, she had in there one of these double crisscross pockets with a pocket on the back. So I, I disassembled it and figured out how to make it. But I remember seeing a YouTube video on this, and I can't remember for the life of me who it was. So um, I wish I could give credit, but I can't. So <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to um, kind of figure out how to do this, and we're going to do it together. So I have the measurements here because I did make one. So the measurements are, you're going to score on the 11 inch side at 3 and 5 eighths. So that's going to be the mark after the half, the first mark after the half, you're going to score. And then you're going to score again on the 11 inch side at 7 and 3 eighths. So 7 and 3 eighths. Now 3 eighths is the mark right after quarter okay so the quarter inch mark and then you have three eighths so you're gonna score down then you're gonna turn your paper all the way around no I'm sorry you're gonna turn it on its side so on the eight and a half inch side you're gonna score at three and a half and what that's gonna make is your pocket so if you want a smaller pocket and a longer crisscross, then make it a different size pocket. But this is the way I did it at three and a half. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we are going to varnish all of our scores. And I'm going to attempt to find my bone folder. Oh, look, there it is. I've kind of organized my desk quite a bit. I'm in the middle of a craft room overhaul. So I think I'll do a craft room tour once I get it all done. And it could take me a while, so don't get too excited yet. <laughs> Been working on it for a while already. <clears throat> all right, so we got all those varnished. Then what we're going to do is, um, on your scoreboard, you're not going to score, but what you're going to do is you're going to mark two inches and then just put like a little mark, okay? And then turn your paper, mark two inches, go again to this side, no, you got to flip it over. Okay, sorry. So after you mark here and flip once this way and mark here two inches, then what you're going to do is you're going to flip over your paper 
Yes, you're going to flip over your paper, mark two inches here and two inches here. And I will explain why in a minute. Okay. <clears throat> it's the easiest way to do it. I, I found anyway. You guys might find a better way to do it. And by all means, let me know. <laughs> oh, I lost my ruler now, you guys. I just had it a second ago. Doesn't this always happen when you do videos? You lose something you just had a second ago? Okay, I'm going to need these. And I just need my ruler now. But not a... That is so odd. Alright, one second. Let me go grab another ruler. I got my Timmy Holtz ruler. Alright, so now what we want to do is where we made let's get rid of the scoreboard we don't need that anymore okay so now you know you know what i'm gonna do too is i'm going to ink this real quick so you guys can see it better maybe where the score lines are because those are important right now okay so we went down two inches and made a mark so now we're gonna take our ruler and where we made that mark we're going to line it up to the edge where that score line is. We're going to line it up right there. So you want to line up your two inch mark and the edge of the ruler and draw a line. Okay. And then you're going to do the same thing here <clears throat> where you made that two inch mark. You're going to line it up to that score line and draw a line. Okay, then you're going to flip your paper over. And where you made those two score lines, you're going to draw a line to the score line. I mean, those two check marks. Sorry, it's kind of hard for me to see. <clears throat> and then the other one was over here. So these are just the opposite corners of where we made on the other side. I mean, you could just take a ruler and measure down, but... Okay, so now what we're going to do is everywhere where we made a line, we're going to cut. You're just going to cut from the score line off the page. Okay, everywhere where there's a line. So it's going to be all four corners. Okay, and turn it over. Okay, so now we have this. <clears throat> so now what we want to do is where we did the three and a half inch, let me go ahead and ink that up because that's important now. Okay, so where we did the three and a half inch score line across, we're going to cut. We're going to cut from the edge to the center score mark. From the edge to the center score mark. And then you're going to turn it around and do the same thing. From the edge here to the center score mark. Just like that. So this is going to be a flap now. Okay, and I have one all inked up ready to go here. So... <clears throat> After you cut, what you do is you flip this one back, you fold in, it doesn't matter either one first, but you want to be consistent. So if you fold this one in first, then you're going to fold this one, then you're going to fold this one in first, then you're going to fold this one. Okay? If you do it the other way, if you fold this one in first, then that one, then you're going to fold this one in first, and then that one. It doesn't matter. Just fold them the same way. And the reason for that is because you want this to line up, okay? Not only that, but it looks prettier, I think, that way, okay? All right, so this one's all inked up, ready to go. So let's see what time we have. 
oh, we're doing good on time. We're only 10 minutes in. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to do some stamping. How fun is stamping? Let me get my stamp bag. That's the only thing I didn't get. I'm going to do stays on timber brown. Okay. And I have this Tim Holtz stamp I haven't even used yet. So I thought how fun would it be to use it on this pocket. And what's cool about this stamp set is it also has... Um, uh, like a cursive text um, stamp too and the butterflies and it says out of limitations comes creativity and then it has this pretty flower one so I am going to see what we can do with this because and I got it at Tuesday mornings it was uh back in August of 2018 so yeah <laughs> I am a little behind on using my stamps guys <clears throat> so I want to use this print stamp first because how fun is that going to be to do it like lightly as like a background okay I know this is a fresh pad Okay, I guess that's good. We don't want it too dark anyway, right? Yeah, that's kind of nice. <clears throat> right? So in the back is where we have our pocket. So let's do that as well. And then we'll figure out what we're going to put on top of it. Cause that's all you're gonna see is just that part <clears throat> okay all right so now let's us I want to see if this will fit here oh it does so let us put that there you know what I um, Patricia Veramonte said to rub your new stamps on your hand. I guess the oils from your hand help it to get the ink the first time. I never did it before, but I'm going to try it now because these don't want to catch the ink. Oh my goodness, it works, you guys. Look at that. I couldn't get that other stamp to get the ink on it to save my life <laughs> all right so let's carefully place this down uh, probably about right there and hold it down for 10 seconds one two three ten oh that's so pretty all right, and then what I'm thinking is maybe some butterflies on like here and here. <clears throat> Oops, I forgot to rub it on my skin. It's a good thing it didn't take ink. <laughs> That's amazing. I guess as long as your hands aren't dried up, it should work. Alright, so I'm just going to go down this side right here. Oh, how fun is that? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm excited about that. That came out really good, you guys. 
I don't think it needs anything else. Um, maybe some textural element either there or there, I'm thinking. But that is pretty good on the stamping, I think. Yes. All right, we need to glue this shut because I'm holding it shut here. So where we need to glue is right here, right here, and right here. Okay. So you need to glue this flap, or whichever flap you put first, you need to glue that flap. Down, and then the second flap, you're gonna glue that down. Oh, you gotta glue the bottom too, Knuckles. <laughs> All right, so you glue the side and the bottom, side and the bottom, because you're making a pocket. You could also use a piece of tape, you know, whatever you like. <clears throat> and then this side. And bottom. And then this side. Now I don't have to hold it down anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. The things we do to ourselves, you know? Alright, so I'm um, thinking you need something yellow, something pink. Um, I'm going to be putting some of these in my Etsy store. My Etsy store is Angela's Boutique Shop. And I'll try to remember to link it below. Um, but I'm going to be putting some of these layering fabrics in my Etsy shop as ring bound, like this. Gail Agostinelli um, sells out of them too fast, so I figured um, I would try to help her out <laughs> and help you guys out if you watch her channel and want one. I'm going to, and I can do custom colors too. I have like pinks, reds, purples, blues, greens. I have all different colors neutral colors um, of laces. So I can do custom orders as well. Um, you can just contact me through my Etsy. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm thinking is I don't have anything yellow, but I do have this, which is yellowed in the corner there. I'm sorry, my doggie's having a bark attack. We have the windows open. It is so beautiful here in South Florida today. It's about 60 degrees, and my neighborhood is very quiet. I live on a very quiet street um, here in South Florida. It's not very common. <laughs> Where we used to live, it was not so quiet. But we um, moved about five years ago from there, and I think I'm going to put that. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. I want it doubled up. Because I want the texture element, I think. I don't know, maybe not. Let's just kind of look pretty just like that, too. Maybe we'll go over the butterfly with it a little bit. No? No, let's cut it. Well, you know what might look nice there? I got in a swap some... I'm not sure where I put them, but I got in a swap some really nice dangles. Oh, you know what? I think I put them in a drawer over here. Yes, I did. And I think I have a pink one. We do all kinds of fun swaps in my group. Um, this was the paper clip uh, bead swap that we did. That's not what I'm looking for. That's what's in this drawer. So, maybe we will use this one for our journal. Um, I don't see anything else. So, let me get... <clears throat> Seems like it should go like that, right? No, I'm not loving it. Alright, let's just put our fabric down. 
here like that and then I will try to figure out something to put and I'm just gonna use my arc glitter glue for this because this is very thin fabric um, if it was thicker I would use my fabric tag for sure um, So yeah, I, and then I have some pink on here, so I think I'm going to take a little bit of this pink here and put that there like that. <clears throat> and I want, I want an embellishment on it. I wonder if there's enough glue under it. No. I want some kind of embellishment on it too, but I don't know what. Hmm. Humana, humana, humana. I do that when I'm thinking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Um, uh, oh, you know what? How about a rose or something? Where are my roses? My fussy cut roses. I think they're over here. I'm getting so organized, you guys. Here's my Tim Holtz. Let's see if he has anything that we might be interested in. <clears throat> You know what might also look nice? A butterfly or something. I don't know what's in here. Is this just flowers? No, this is butterflies. Flowers, all kinds of things. Oh, here's a yellow butterfly. You can just finish that off with a butterfly at the bottom. In color. Okay, I like that idea. And then... Could be our pocket stuffer. I also have this one. Oh, I think I like this one. Okay, well that was easy. I got these little bags at the Dollar Tree, but it was a while ago, you guys. But aren't they awesome for your um, ephemera? And you could put them in a three ring binder if you wanted to, because it's a three ring binder. Yeah, so I have two more of those. I wish I would have grabbed a bunch more because I haven't seen them again. But maybe during school time because they're a pencil pouch, see? So maybe during school time they'll get more. Um, so that's, that's about it, you guys. So I hope you enjoy making these as much as I do. Um, oh, you know what? We didn't glue our butterfly down. Let's not get hasty here. Let's ink them up first. Cause he's got a white edge and nothing else here is white he would look out of place <laughs> oh goodness all right so there it is there and this is just gonna be in the pocket like that I don't think I'm gonna glue it down because then if we put something else in the pocket yeah no it goes here yeah Okay, so that's that. And then we also have the back here. Did we want to do something on the back? Because if we're just going to paper clip it, the only thing she did was stamp on it or stencil on it. <clears throat> but I am wondering if I want to stamp maybe something on it like I did on the other side. Maybe this creativity one? Maybe we stamp that right up here? Or here? Yeah, I like that idea. I'm gonna do it. Why not? Use all of the stamps. <laughs> it's a set, right? Don't you just love how I made this block work for every stamp? <laughs> that was pretty awesome too. If I do say so myself. And I do. <laughs> All right, where are we putting this now? We're going to put it right here, right? Yes. I love it. 
I love it. It came out perfect. Perfection. All right. Well, that's our pocket, guys. So thanks for watching and have a wonderful evening. Stay warm or stay cool. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.